The misuse and overuse of antibiotics, especially for viral infections like sore throat, is reducing their ability to save lives now and in the future. Up to 8 out of 10 sore throats are viral. Antibiotics only work against bacteria, making their use for sore throat often inappropriate and ineffective. Different antibiotic classes work in a variety of ways to inhibit bacteria. They can inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis, cause damage to cell membranes, disrupt bacterial metabolism and restrict the ability of the bacteria to multiply. When exposed to a narrow spectrum antibiotic, disease-causing bacteria should be sensitive to its effects and will therefore be killed or inhibited. Broad spectrum antibiotics target several classes of bacteria, damaging good bacteria. This makes them unsuitable for self-limiting conditions. Antibiotic resistance develops when potentially harmful bacteria mutate in a way that reduces or eliminates the effectiveness of antibiotics. Bacteria can develop mechanisms such as stopping the antibiotic from reaching its target or modifying the target that the antibiotic works on. The more antibiotics are used, the greater the rate of resistance development and risk of resistance spreading, meaning the antibiotics will no longer work in curing bacterial diseases. Resistant bacteria can develop in any person who uses an antibiotic and can remain in the body for up to a year after a course of antibiotics. Once a bacterium develops antibiotic resistance, the genes providing resistance can then spread to other bacteria, rendering an antibiotic useless in fighting infections for everyone, not just the individual. Up to 80% of antibiotics used for respiratory tract infections are believed unnecessary and should be reserved for when they're really needed to help reduce resistance. It is important to fully evaluate the needs of patients and to relieve their symptoms first, reserving antibiotics for those who are more seriously unwell, at risk of complications, or with a confirmed diagnosis of bacterial infection.